Now listen, we're gonna tell some people about you. I know you were telling me earlier, it, it's a little chilly here. We're gonna try and get you to some warm weather. Get you with a nice family. Hey, I wanna tell you something, listen. I married a mermaid last week. Yeah, I met her online. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. As you can see, right there is M60, and right here is the RVs. So we like to keep it simple. Okay, so what we wanted to show you is we've got a 2024 25 V by 4 winds. Okay, what does the V stand for? Well, after we get done looking at it, you're going to be like, that's got a lot of value. So value. Okay, so let's look at what we got. First of all, you got the molded fiberglass front cap on the front there. You got your running lights up top. You're on the Ford chassis, which is a 7.3 liter V8 with 325 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. Enough to get you to see anywhere in this great country of ours. Okay, so let's go around and take a look. Again, you're on the E450 chassis. Okay, so as we come around, it's all vacuum bonded. Your sidewalls are all vacuum bonded. So that way it has the Azdel backer, will prevent you from any delamination and prevent any moisture from getting in there in your sidewalls. If you look here, this has the one slide on it. Up there on the top, you have your awning. Okay, so what that awning will do for you is as you put your slide out, that awning comes out. That'll help protect the roof of the slide, keep any debris or anything of that nature from getting in there and causing any problems with your slide. Okay, so we come around here. We got our first compartment, you got 40 pounds of LP right there, which will run your uh, hot water heater and it'll also run your furnace for you and then also your cooktop. Here's where you have, for your holding tanks, which you got 42 gallons of fresh, 33 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. Okay, so the fresh water is your potable water, your drinkable water. The gray water is what comes out of your sink and then out of your showers. And the black water is what comes out of your stool. Okay. Then your third compartment here, we have, there's where your holding tanks are, which are all heated for you, okay? So if you get any cold weather or whatever it may be, it will prevent your water lines from freezing up and keep your holding tanks from freezing up for you. So you can go out at any time of the year and see this great country of ours. Here's where you have your city water connection, where you just take your hose, hook it up to the water source, and that'll provide the water for you, okay? Then here you have your 30 amp power cord, which is all marine grade sealed. So you don't have to worry about any critters getting in there. And then right here, you have the place you can hook up your antenna from the park right there for you. Then here you have your outside shower, which has the hot and the cold. So that way, if you get done at the end of the day, you can come out there and spray off your feet, clean the fish. Or if you're bold enough, go ahead and take a shower then for you. Okay. Then right here, you have to fill up your fuel, which is unleaded fuel. You have your black water tank. Again, what you do when you're getting ready to dump, you're getting ready to leave. Hook up your water hose to here, open up your black tank valve, and then that'll go in and clean out your black water tank so you don't get any false readings. Then right here, you have the gravity fill for your fresh water, where you can just get the hose and fill up the fresh water there. So that way, if you're out dry camping or whatever it may be, you can just use the fresh water from there, then turn your water pump on. Okay, when you get to the motorhomes, then again, you have a 4,000 watt generator. What that generator will do for you is it'll run right off of your 55 gallons of fuel. You get below about a quarter of a tank, it won't allow you to run that. But the generator will power all your lights, power your TV, power everything inside the coach. So if you're tailgating, just out in the middle of nowhere to race or whatever it may be, you've got power. Okay, now here, look at this full pass through storage through here. Okay, little 25 foot cubic foot. You might wonder, well, how much outside storage do I have? Well, you have 65 cubic feet of outside storage. So you want to put your lawn chairs, your fishing poles, some firewood, some of the souvenirs you went out and saw. You even got enough room, maybe, for example, if your spouse, significant other isn't getting along real well, you can put them in there. Okay, we could put a little mattress in there, whatever it may be. Okay, so we come on to the back. You got your ladder on your roof, so you can get up on your roof and do your yearly maintenance, check your seals, uh, make sure everything's okay up there. And you do have your 100 watt solar panel up on the top for you as well okay and again back here in the back we have some more outside storage as you can see it's all lined in the abs okay so it even does have a little drain so say if you're out at the tailgate you want to put some ice in here put some beverages in there you can do that right there okay you do on the back you have an 8,000 pound hitch so if you want to tow your vehicle or if you want to tow another trailer whatever it is you can do it right there up to 8,000 pounds you got your seven-way plug right there, so that way you can run all your lights for you, okay? 
So we come on around here, and then Mr. Cameraman, if you want to go ahead and get your legs uh, extended, let's go ahead and show them the roof, which you got a 12-year warranty up on the roof. You can see your solar panel up there. You can see your 15K air conditioner. You can see your fantastic vents. And Mr. Cameraman is retracting his legs currently. Coming on down. Welcome back, Mr. Cameraman. One time we're in and he got stuck and he was up there for a full day. He was about 12 foot tall for a full day. Okay. Here's the other side of your outside storage. Okay. Again, 65 cubic foot of outside storage. Okay. Then also when you come here, you have your patio awning. It's a, I believe it's a 19 foot patio awning, which is a power patio awning. So you just push a button and your awning will come out for you. And then you do have the ability to adjust it. So if you're going away and you want to tilt it, so if it's raining, the water can run off, you can do that for you right there. And here you have some more storage. Okay. Then here underneath your patio, you do have some plugins. So if you want to bring out an outside TV or just charge your phones or whatever it may be, you can do it right there while you're sitting underneath the awning with your family discussing the memories that you will be talking about for years and years to come. And we're going to help you do that. We're going to get you the outdoors for less. Okay. Then here you also have a tankless hot water heater. Okay, so on the tankless hot water heater, it'll continuously heat your hot water. You don't have to worry about running out of hot water. It takes care of everything for you right there. Okay, then here we have some more storage. Okay, this is on the Moride chassis, but they take down the Moride to get the chassis extended. When this chassis is extended from front to back, it's within one tenth of an inch from being square from forward to back. Okay, then here you can see it's a 25V. Again, great value. This is another nice thing which Thor offers you, an industry leading feature here. 12 year structural warranty and a six year lamination warranty. On your chassis, you have the three years 36, but on the construction, 12 years on the structural, six years on the lamination. One of the best in the industry that we have, okay? Then again, you have your side mirrors on either side, which are extended, but you do have the big mirror and then the smaller mirrors. They'll help you with your blind spots for you too as well. You do have the little uh, running boards right there in order for you to get in, okay? So Mr. Cameraman, would you like to take a look inside? Yes, we would. Okay, so here again, you have your screen door, which you do have the little plastic part you can pull over, prevent the bugs from getting in and out. If you just want to have some airflow, you can do it right there. Then down here, this is where you have, yeah. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Mr. Cameraman figured it out. There's your house battery, which you do have room for another house battery on there for you too. So if you want to do another house battery, you can do it there. Okay. So we've got that all shut up there. Okay. Then as we come in, what you have here, because you do have, we brought it in with the 100 watt solar panel. So there's your solar controller right there for you. You do have the auto gen start, which you can set up for you. So if your voltage gets low, it'll automatically kick your generator on and charge your coach up. Here's where you have your battery disconnect. So when you're not using it, just turn it to off and that'll help extend the life of your house batteries for you. Then here is for your power patio awning. Then these are for your awning lights. And then here you have your step lights. Okay, then you have your cargo lights right here. Then you have some switches here for some interior lights right there. Okay, so as we come in further, Right when you first walk in, then what you have right here, this is where you have your command center, okay? You can start your generator right from here, okay? You can also start it from the generator itself. This is where you would extend the slide. Remember when I showed you you had the gravity fill? Whenever you have the gravity fill, you got to turn your water pump on, and then that'll help circulate the water throughout the coach. This here will tell you your levels of your LP, your battery, your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water, okay? So one thing I wanted to show you as you come in, we have the slides in now. So I've got the slides in. We can still get to everything in this coach. I can get to the kitchen. I can get to the dinette. We can get to the bathroom back here in the back. We can get to the refrigerator. We can get to the sleeping area. So even with the slides in, you can get to everything inside of this coach. Okay. So let's go up to the front. And we'll do a feature that everybody seems to love, especially the lazy people the ends and the worlds, okay? Since you're out shopping around and you're looking for your 2024 25V four winds, okay? Look at that right there, Mr. Cameraman. 40 
six miles. You might say, hey, why is that important? Well, you're going to be the first person to put the first critical miles on this coach, not somebody who gets paid to get from here in the greater Michigan area to anywhere else in the other part of this country. Did they sleep in it? Did they smoke in it? I don't know. Did they have people over? Did they use the refrigerator? Did they use the toilet? That's just some unknowns. Those are things we just don't know. But here at M60RV, they're known facts because we pick them up. Okay, so we're the first ones to drive them. And only 46 miles. So as you're out shopping around, say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Salesperson, I was just wondering, do, where's that 25V with under 100 miles? And as they stare blankly into your eyes and you can see the computer working in their brain, the answer is, it's an M60 RV. It's the only place it is. The worlds don't have it. The lazy places don't have it. The places with the ends, they don't have it. Any of the other places, they don't. Only M60 RV, exclusive, okay? So we've got it started. So when you wanna put your slide out, you start the motor, put your emergency brake on, okay? Then we come back to our control center. And then here where it says, Ex slide extend and slide retract. We're just gonna hit extend. And then look at the extra room that we get once that's out. We used to have a grass growing channel that we used to be able to switch to while this was going out, um, but the grass quit growing. Doubtful. Yeah, it's grass, grass flation, okay? So, as you can see, we got the slides out now. So now look at all the extra space we got here in order to walk around and do some things. Again, you have your dinette right here, okay, which does have cup holders on either side. Here you can also, if you're out shopping around, use your phone, scan this right here, and it'll give you all the features that are in the four winds, okay? You have your night shades all the way throughout, okay? So you can just take and open these, and then you can see you have a slider window right here, so that we can get some nice airflow. There on the kitchen side, you have another nice big window. It's a slider window, so open those up, help get some airflow in here for you, okay? Then here, you have a little space here that you can charge your phone right here for you. This right here is the MSRP, okay? So right here, the MSRP on this coach is $142,075, okay? We have never had anybody pay MSRP, but if you're interested in it, we would be interested in it as well, too. We'll take some pictures. We're going to put it all over the Internet and different things of that nature. OK, some options that we have in this leatherette driver and passenger seat. You can see right there cab over child safety net. You can see that right there. OK, so that will prevent anybody from falling out a 12 volt attic fan over the bunk. OK, and a 12 volt attic fan in the bedroom. OK. And then we have a high output single roof AC, which is the 15K air conditioner, the 100 watt solar panel that Mr. Cameraman showed you when he extended his legs. We have the outside shower, and then we have the decor kit. Okay, brings it to 142.075. We will be giving you a sale price at the end of this. Okay, so we all look forward to that. Okay, then you're in your dinette. Now, another nice feature say you got young ones, grandkids, young kids. Right here's where you can latch in for the car seat. So that way the kids can still go with you and come out and see this great country of ours and get some great family time together. Here above the dinette, you have some more storage. Comes all the way through. Mr. Cameraman will show you that. Okay. Then here you have a mirror so you can see just how beautiful you are. Okay. We had Mr. Cameraman step out of the way just for uh, technical purposes. Okay. Then again, you have your front cab here. This comes out. This will fill in this area right here and makes a bed up top for you. And then you have your fantastic fan. That does a couple things for you. Remember when we had our door open and you open up your windows, turn that on, that'll help bring the air through the coach in order to keep it cool and get some nice fresh airflow. These are the hooks for the cab over net right there for you. This is your TV that's on the swing arm. So that way everybody in the whole coach can see it. These are your air ducts that come throughout the coach. Your fire alarm right here. And then this is your 15K air, which does have the quick cool. Okay, so what's the quick cool do for me? If I have these both closed, then my air conditioner is going to run all through my vents. Say, for example, I get in, it's real hot and humid, and I want to cool it down real quick. I open up these vents, and then this will do what they call the quick cool. Dump all the air right here for you, so that way you can cool this particular area of the coach right here. Your air filters are right here that you want to change every now and again. Okay. Then here, we have some more storage up here. Now we're in the kitchen area. You have some storage with some adjustable shelves, so you can adjust the shelves. The nice big farmer's sink, which does have your roll up right here, so that way you can strain your dishes. 
your high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer. Okay. Look at your countertop space here. All laminate countertop space, and you do have the countertop extension right here. This is another nice thing Four Winds does offer you for the first year on Four Winds. Four apps, one membership for you. Okay. So what you've all got is you've got the Camp Campadium, the Road Trippers, the RV Village, and the To-Go RV. Okay. For the first year, Four Winds will take care of that for you. If you wish to extend your membership, you can do that for a small fee. Okay, storage right there, which you can put your trash can in. There's where you can put your dish rags. Nice little pull-out drawer right there. Pull-out drawer right here. Pull-out drawer right here. You do have some storage underneath your oven as well. Okay, now look at this. Underneath your dinettes. Look at that. You got some big storage. Now this right here, this is your curtain. Okay, see the little Velcro right here? You can take this when you get to your campsite and hook this up right here. And then this way, this will block off so you still have your privacy inside of the coach. You do have a little charger right here for you to charge your phones. USB ports. You do have some more storage there. Okay. You get into the kitchen here. You got your three burner cooktop. Which has the folding cover on it for you. So it serves as your backsplash for you. Okay. Three burner cooktop. You do have your oven, so if you want to cook some pizzas, whatever it may be, you can do it right there. Now, another nice little feature, which I don't know why, but it just kind of excites me, okay? Say, for example, you're cooking. See how all these lights are blue right now? So what that indicates is these burners are off, okay? So now if I turn them on, see how it turns red? And then this here will automatically light it for you, okay? So why does that kind of excite me? I don't know. Say, for example, you're out camping, the kids are out doing something, and you get distracted, you're outside, you've caught a big fish, you want to go see the big fish, everybody's done. You come back in, you start talking, you forget that you have your burner on because you took your pot off. But you look over, and boom, you see that red. So just a small little safety feature. Strange things excite me, I guess, and that's one of them. Okay? Here you have your over-the-top light. Then you have your fan right here for you as well. Okay? Then here we have our microwave for us. Okay? And then here we have some more storage up top. Okay, you have your 12 volt refrigerator right here. Okay, then you have your freezer, which you can adjust your temperatures right there for you. And down here, you have your fuse box right there, and then your breaker box right there. I always recommend carry some extra um, fuses with you or whatever it may be, so if something happens, you don't have to run in to town. So let's just take a look at something. A little 25 foot uh, Class C right here. What kind of storage do we have? Well, let's look. We got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen doors and drawers. It's pretty impressive. So if you're wondering, hey, will I have enough to take anywhere? I don't know, you have 15 different spaces to put some stuff. So you can. So let's come to the back here. Let's show you this first. Okay, now we're kind of back in the bedroom and the bath area. Okay, right here, we have another cabinet with some storage space. And you do have a little hanging space, and these are adjustable shelves for you. And you do have two drawers right here. Okay. Another nice thing I like that they've done on this, that I really think they've taken advantage of all the space that is available. Okay. So you take and you open up this door right here. Okay. It latches right there. Come on back here, Mr. Cameraman, if you can. Okay, then here you open this up. So now what do we do? We got this whole area for our bath area. We got our stool right here, which is the porcelain stool. Gonna make it very easy to clean with the foot flush. Here's where you can adjust your temperature for your hot water for that tankless hot water heater. Turn your fan on right there in the bathroom and then turn your lights on. You have your shower surround right here with the ABS tub shower surround right there. Okay, this is something that's kind of neat. I really like the wording that they put with this. Okay, this is your 360 siphon vent. Smell that? Well, of course you don't, because this is gonna help take all the smells right out of the bath area here for you. Now, this is your kitchen sink. You do have some storage under there. You do have a heat vent right down there, and you do have an air vent here in this area as well. On your shower, another nice thing that it does. This is the shower miser. So what does the shower miser do for you? The shower miser, if you see this little blue thing right here, Okay, so remember in the old days, you turned it on, you'd have to wait in order to get the temperature that you wanted. Take your controls right here, set it to the temperature you want. 
close this valve off it's going to go between your fresh water tank and your hot water heater okay once it gets to the desired temperature that you want this will change colors open that valve up step right in you're not wasting any gray water in there you're not wasting any of your fresh water it's taking full advantages advantage of all of the resources that you have okay then here you have your medicine cabinet okay then you have another storage spot right here you have two plug-ins right there and you do have some shelves right here for you to put miscellaneous items and a place here to hang your towel for you as well so again kind of shuts it off so you got your own little private area right there now we come to the back this is something that i really like too as well okay so a couple things now in the bedroom area you got your headboard back there you got your lighting all the way around you got windows right here and a window on this side so that way you can open it up in order to get some airflow okay so now in this particular setup we've got it set up as twin beds okay so you can have twin beds or you can take these cushions right here and set them down in between and then this will make in to a king bed so you can either do the twin beds or you can do a king bed and you even got little cup holders right here for you okay so just something that's kind of unique able to adapt to the situation that you want to put it into again your nightshades all the way through look at all this storage back here storage all right there storage right here storage here okay what's important in an rv and in real estate what's important location 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 what's important in an rv storage 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 okay so you got plenty of storage then look here i've got some more storage down there i've got a drawer here and a drawer here okay so just in your bedroom area let's look at what we got what do we have up front i believe we had 14 right mr cameraman 15 okay 14 15 we'll go with 15 because we like to round up Okay, so now we're in the bedroom bath area. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve doors and drawers. Plus what we had in our bathroom. I think we had three more. So now we got 15. So you got 30 doors and drawers and a little 25 foot Class C motorhome to take out and see this great country of ours. Again, part of the great value, the V value. Okay. So you might say, hey, Mr. Cameraman. Mr. Whisperer, where can I find you guys? Well, we're at M60RV on the World Wide Web, m60rv.com. You can come visit us right off of M60RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Or you can give us a call, which we'll put our phone number on the video for you too as well. Give us a call. We're more than happy to answer any questions for you. If you see something in here that you would like to get a second look at, something we didn't quite cover, please put it in the comment section. We'd be more than happy to go back over and show it to you again. Okay? Again, I told you. We're trying to give you the outdoors for less, the great outdoors for less. And we like to say you come in as strangers and you leave as friends. When you go to some of these other lazy places, worlds and inns, you're just not a person. You're not Mr. Cameraman. Like, hey, Mr. Cameraman, it's great to see you. How's it going with you and your family? As opposed to it's like, oh, okay, they're behind the computer. Okay, what was your number? Okay, 478-436-5431. Okay, there you are. Um, we can probably get to you in about uh, eight, nine months. Does that work for you? No. We're going to take care of you here at M60 RV. We want our family to be able to show you and your family the great adventure in the outdoors and just go out and see this great country of ours. If you're still here, thanks for watching.